This week's crash in New Bedford expected to face the charges in court perhaps as early as today. Yeah, we're told the suspect was finally arrested in Pawtucket over the weekend. And that's where we find Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie. And Danielle, following that arrest, James Bennett Wera was held here at the Pawtucket Police Station overnight on Saturday. Yesterday, he was taken over to the ACI, and that's where he's currently waiting to go before a judge, likely later today in Providence District Court. And eventually, he'll be extradited to Massachusetts, where he faces a series of charges related to a deadly crash in New Bedford last week. Let's show you the video from that crash at the intersection of Ashley Boulevard and Tallman Streets. Investigators believe Bennett where it caused it, killing a, um, a woman, a 68-year-old Janet Murphy of New Bedford. She was killed uh, in the crash. Her passenger sent to the hospital, Rhode Island Hospital, currently in critical condition. They say that Bennett Wera was fleeing Fairhaven Police at the time. In the car that hit her, once again, two people, including Bennett Wera, who took off on foot. The other individual was arrested at the scene, but that's all we know about that suspect at this time. Bennett Wera spent three days on the run until police closed in on him around 5 p.m. Saturday at a home in Pawtucket where he was placed in handcuffs and once again he is at the ACI this morning awaiting his arraignment. Bennett Ware are now facing several charges including manslaughter, motor vehicle homicide, assault with a da dangerous weapon, in addition to several fugitive charges and we've learned that he's out on parole at the time that he was allegedly involved in this crash. More on that incident that put him on parole. That'll be coming up in the next half hour. For now, live in Pawtucket, Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.